you guys really should be proud of me because I always choose the loaded shotgun method. Just go for it. Well, hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. If you're new to the channel, my name's Lucas, and we're sharing our hobbies here on our 38 acres in eastern Kentucky. And today, we are going to get our mill set on its base. We finally got our permanent mill base set up, so we set posts in the ground, and then we put railroad ties on top of those so we have a good solid base to keep our mill level. The project today is just going to be tackling the movement of the mill. Now, if you aren't already aware, we partnered with MechMax to get us an SM26 sawmill, and they provided this mill for us so that we could share with you the content and all the things that we can create from milling lumber from trees on our property here. While we don't have a contract with MechMax, they're not paying us to say anything in particular. We are just going to share with you how the product works on our farm as we carry out the process of learning how to mill and doing all of those things. We are, however, an affiliate partner. So if you are going to make a purchase, then you can use code LUCAS 5% off to get 5% off of your purchase, which on a mill like this is a nice little chunk of money, a couple hundred bucks that you're going to save for using that code. So if you use that code, we do get a little bit of commission. So I want to share all of that up front so that you're aware of the partnership that we have. We're going to do our best to be open and honest and objective about everything that we run into with this mill, but we are a partner with them and we do earn commission when we sell products. Today, what I have done is I grabbed my beater bucket in the jaws of the Artillion rock bucket and grapple and brought it up here because I think I'm going to use the clamp on bucket forks in order to move the mill head off of the mill base so that we can set the bunks on our rails that we have here and then we'll set the mill head back on. That's our plan. You know how plans are. It seems like for us, they're, <laughs> they're never very good and go out the window at some point in the process because Things just don't always work the way I picture them in my head. We do have our mill base set up here and ready to roll. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and swap out buckets and then we'll get strapped onto the mill head, lift that off, kind of figure out where we're gonna go from there. We are in good shape so far. We have the mill head firmly setting on the forks of the tractor. It's handling the weight and everything just fine, so that's all good. Now, I do have a concern because I've got to drive over this rough terrain and around to the other end of these blocks with that mill head to set them on these rails. And I came all the way up here with no straps. And now I have the mill head on the tractor. And that's my transportation. So 
the decision I have to make now is, is it stable enough to make the, sh the drive around that to set it on this? Or do I go down and get ratchet straps to make sure? Well, let me think about it while I move the mill base. I've decided at this point since I have the mill base on there I'm gonna level the legs out I honestly may walk down the hill and get the side by side and bring some straps up before I move that but also I can put screws in the mill base to get it tight so I think that's the route we'll go you guys really should be proud of me because I always choose the loaded shotgun method just go for it and While I'm tempted to go for it, moving this mill head on the forks just like they are, I sure would be devastated if I tore it up being impatient or being too lazy to walk down the hill. So, we're gonna walk down the hill. I need a lot of those tools that are in the side-by-side -side I need up here anyway. Now, the only problem is I may have to go get someone and bring them up with me later in order to keep from having to make a walk back up the hill to bring down the other piece of equipment. Caden will be home in a little bit, and I was going to have him come up and help him work on some stuff anyway, so that'll work just fine. So when you get a sawmill, then you walk through your woods, and you you start recognizing all of the uh, <laughs> potential lumber. But that's not really the route I want to go for the most part. What I want to do is go through looking for stuff that's fallen already, or that's going to fall soon and just take care of those i don't really want to i don't really want to cut down good healthy trees just for the sake of cutting down trees i think i've got plenty that have damage or things going on um, or already on the ground and i won't have to worry about that now here's the trick is getting all the way down this hill and then remembering what I came down here for when I get down there. What did I come down here for? Anyway? Anytime I ever walk down this hill, I always think to myself, it seems a shame that you've got to walk so far to get such a short distance because, well, there's the shop and the house, but we got to walk a quarter mile down the road because, well, I've gone down that way because I put fence up it, but it's pretty aggressive. <laughs> I'm not in the mood today. Alright, well it's a lot better than walking. <laughs> Especially going up.
Well guys, this is a huge deal to me to get this all set up and we are going to start milling soon. In fact, I would probably throw a log on here right now and start milling, but I, in, in moving everything around, I actually broke a little plastic fitting for my, my cooling system for the water line. I actually have ordered a few parts because I'm going to put an automatic watering switch on this mill so that I don't have to walk around to the front to turn the water on and off every time I mill. We'll share that with you when we get all the details worked out and get it hooked up. But I'm not going to replace that fitting just to take it all off and redo the water system anyway. I got a couple more parts I'm waiting on to come in in a couple of days and then I'll finish that up. So that's where we're going to end this today. But we are very excited to have our mill in position. We are very excited that MechMax chose to work with us and put this mill on our property. So thank them. And again, don't forget, if you want to order any of their products, use the code LUCAS, 5% off, and you'll get 5% off of your order. They've got some great products, stump grinders, wood chippers. They have skid steer attachments of all different kinds, and they have sawmills. So be sure and check out their website. And as always, until next time, Get outside and enjoy God's creation. It is beautiful out here. Y'all have a good day.